I want to show you guys a, an exercise I came up with for myself in order to learn to do coordinated turns better. And in the process, I'm going to talk a little bit about how yaw works in acro mode or rate mode on a, on a multi-rotor. Um, <clears throat> obviously, when you, when you yaw the multi-rotor, it spins about this axis. So we can think about the, the Z and the X and the Y axis uh, relative to the copter's frame. And when you yaw, it spins around the Z axis. Which, if the copter is flat, then uh, that's, you know, that's nothing very much to say there. But the picture gets a little more interesting when the copter is pitched forward, uh, or, or tilted in any direction, but pitched forward is the most common. When I first started flying uh, in rate mode, I expected that the copter would yaw around this Z axis, in other words, relative to the, the Earth. So if I was pitched forward and uh, I was yawed 90 degrees, that the copter would end up pitched forward and yawed 90 degrees in whatever direction I turn. And that is not actually how it works. When you pitch forward, the copter's Z axis is also pitched or tilted. And so when it turns, it turns around that axis and that forward tilt if you uh, yaw 90 degrees to the side, becomes sideways roll. And if I keep yawing, it yaws about that same axis, that same Z axis. Now it's pitched back and so forth. So we can see that if you are uh, tilted forward and you yaw in rate mode, that forward pitch translates into sideways roll. And, and that can be really confusing and really unexpected and result in bad turns. So here is the exercise that I came up with to try and learn how to better compensate for that. Start out pitch forward, flying forward relatively slowly in an area where you're not going to have anything to crash into. And start to yaw to the side. And as you do that, you'll see the horizon start to tilt not because of anything you're doing with the roll stick, but just because, because of how yaw works in, in rate mode. And then just add just enough roll to cancel that out. So you're going to be tilted forward, pitched forward, flying slowly forward. You're going to use just the yaw stick to start to yaw. Watch the horizon start to tilt to the side. And you add just enough roll to cancel that out and flatten back out again. And as you do that, you'll start to get a feel for how much roll it takes to cancel out the amount of yaw you're putting in. And you'll start being able to do them together so that you get a flat turn instead of a turn without enough roll mixed in, which causes the copter to seem like it is, is rolling out of the turn. Okay. Once you get to the point where you can reliably just sort of have the copter do a flat turn like that. In other words, you're yawing at a constant rate and the horizon is remaining level. You've got just enough roll in to compensate for the, the tendency of the copter to roll out of the turn, to, to, to seem like it's rolling out of the turn. Then you can start mixing in different amounts of roll. Now, the most common thing you're going to do is that if you're flying straight forward and you go to roll, you're going to want the copter to actually roll into the turn so that you get a nice smooth coordinated turn. So a flat turn would just, if you were flying forward and you did a flat turn, you would kind of just end up flying sideways and that's not what you want really. Um, you really usually want to roll into the turn and yaw at the same time. So you're going to have just a little bit more roll than is necessary to do a flat turn. And then you can do nice swooshy swoopy turns. But the first step is always going to be, I, I think, the first step is going to be you're going to start yawing. As you yaw, notice that the horizon is starting to tilt. And then, well, use the roll stick to add just enough roll to keep the horizon level. And, do, and practice doing those flat turns. And once you do that, you'll get a real feel for, uh, for how much you need. Uh, I've heard people talk about how some of the pro pilots don't seem to use a lot of roll. Uh, when they turn. 
uh, rather don't seem to use a lot of yaw when they turn. And the reason for that is that the more, if you're like this, if you're flat and you're turning, then all of your turns are going to be 100% yaw. And if we go to another extreme example, if you were flying like this, which obviously you'd be falling out of the sky, but if you were flying like this, all of your turns would be 100% roll and 0% yaw. You see, you would just roll like that. So the more up tilt you have in your camera, the faster forward you're flying, the more roll is involved in making a coordinated turn and the less yaw. So what I'm getting at there is that the actual amount of yaw and roll that you'll need to create a coordinated turn is going to vary depending on how fast you're flying and how much up tilt your camera has, basically how, how pitched forward you are at the moment. But you'll get a feel for it. Uh, you may find though that if, if, for example, if you change your camera's up tilt to try to fly faster, your turns will be very uncoordinated at first because the your, your muscle memory for how much roll you need relative to how much yaw is going to be wrong for your current setup. But, um, but just practice it and, and you'll get the feel for it and, and that'll help you make nice, smooth, coordinated turns. All right, hope that's helpful and happy flying.